Hello everyone, my name is Eddie Valdez and today I'll be showing you how to make your external hard drive both compatible with Mac and PC from your Mac. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is save the files on your hard drive if you care about them. We will be reformatting your hard drive so both Mac and PC can read from the hard drive and write to on the hard drive. The easiest thing to do is to drag all the files from your hard drive and put them into a folder on your computer. Depending on the size of the files, it could take some time. The next thing you need to do is open Disk Utility. To go there, click on Applications and then Utilities. Then double click on Disk Utility. Once you are in Disk Utility, you first need to locate your external hard drive. You don't want to accidentally reformat your internal hard drive. That will be a big mistake. So to your left, locate your external hard drive. It will be marked with a USB symbol. Next on Disk Utility, you need to click on the partition you want to make compatible with both Mac and PC. If you want to make your whole hard drive compatible, then click on the option with the count of its space. When you have your partition or hard drive selected, it's time to decide which format you need. FAT, or FAT, is usually the format on all flash drives. The main limitation to FAT is that you can't have a single file over 4 gigabytes. Because I make videos, some of my files may be over 4 gigabytes, so I need to use EXFAT or XFAT. The only negative to XFAT is that it is not compatible with every operating system, especially older ones. It will work on newer operating systems such as Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista with Service Pack 1, Windows Server 2008, Windows 7, Windows 8, Mac OS X Snow Leopard 10.6.5, Mac OS X Lion, and lastly, Mac OS X Mountain Lion. So to pick the format, click on the Erase tab towards the top, and then next to Format, either click on FAT or XFAT, depending on which format you need. Then give your hard drive a name, and then when you are all done with that, click on Erase towards the bottom, and then when you are sure to move on, click on Erase again. This will take some time, it won't take too long, but it will take a little bit of time. Once your hard drive is all done, you can re-add the files back onto your hard drive. Once you do that, you are all done and your hard drive will work with both Mac and Windows. Well guys, I hope that video helped you guys out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.